today I'm at Hey Dairies and it is Singapore's only goat farm and I'm here at Lim Chu Kang which I had to drive like you know 45 minutes to so for all of you who don't know Singapore is a very very modernized city and everywhere you look basically just looks really really urban and built up but this area is open and there's no high-rise buildings not the usual Singapore that you would find and I'm really excited to go in and see how farm life is like in Singapore because it's not something that you can experience every day. Okay, so I'm here with Leon from Hey Dairies and this is your family business, am I yep. right? So basically, uh, what we have here, we run the only dairy goats farm in Singapore and what we produce here is uh, fresh goats milk. So why is the farm called Hey Dairies? Okay, uh, the interesting thing is that uh, my last name is Hey. Huh? <laughs> so we decided to what name the farm. What is that Chinese? Oh, in Chinese, we call it Xia, Summer. Oh my gosh, I marry him, I can like literally have kids called Xia Xie. It's so weird that your name is like hay and then you grow up to be like actually feeding hay every day. <laughs> okay, so this is where we house all the uh, younger goats oh. and the uh, older goats. Will you want to carry a goat? Yes. Uh... They're main, they're actually main. So cute. This tree is smaller. This one should be about less than two weeks old. Less than two weeks old? Yeah. Which colour you want? Uh, I, I choose from this tree, yeah. this yeah. one, brown. This one, brown, okay. Oh my god, I'm very stressed. Palm under the chest and just hold, okay? Hi! Are you all so cute? <laughs> very fuzzy and very calm. It's just exactly like a puppy. Eh? Why are they men? You think they like you or what? <laughs> Baby, we see humans, they like because they are very uh, happy to see us. Really? So cute! <laughs> okay, so now we will uh, feed the goats. Okay. okay. There are two things that we feed the goats in the farm here. One is our uh, grains from Australia. And the second thing is our uh, alfalfa here from US. It's the same ones that we eat on our salad, alfalfa straw. And these guys here, they are waiting for you to feed him. Oh my god! <laughs> we can so tell. what you do now is, okay, you just take it out a little bit like this. Yeah. Okay, to, have, to experience it better, you do this. Won't get bitten ah? Won't ah. Huh? You sure or not? Sure, you see? Okay, come try. My turn to feed. Yep. Oh my god, I'm very stressed. Okay, just put your palm. Okay. Okay, then just go here. Here I am, yep. guys. <laughs> they snatched everything already. <laughs> there you go. Okay, they're not biting me. So the boys have horns, is it? Like, okay, uh, these, see, are, these are all uh, mountain goats. So basically, both boy and girl both have horns. Oh, okay. You know, like all the goats are kept here, mm. but I'm sure there are people who always say like, oh, animals should be kept in the wild yes, and stuff. Correct. So what do you think? For us here at uh, the goat farm here, we try our best to make sure that the goats here are all kept in ample space. Yeah, uh, yeah, ample they pens, are very comfortable. So they are all very well, uh, well spread out. But you also notice that they do not touch the floor. They are all on elevated ground. If the goats are all on elevated ground, they will less one problem we call soil diseases. Mm. So in the farm here, we are doing this concept. We have close like zero soil diseases at all. Oh, okay, that's good. The goats have sort of given up on him giving the the hay because when he's talking, he's going like that, like that, and then they are like <laughs> <laughs> that poor thing. And this one, them greedy. This one is like has been standing here the entire time. Some of them gave up, walk away already. Let's try and feed the big ones, okay? I don't want, I'm scared. I'm really legit scared. If you're scared, okay, you hold this way. Okay, and then just from this distance. And let go. He chomp very fast. Why do they have like the iris that looks like such a weird shape, man? I always like do Goose understand. Goose iris, if you look closely, like, like rectangle shape. Yes. Yeah. A goose view is about 160 to 180 degrees. So if you're standing behind the fella, he can see you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this guy is like super curly hair. I like it. What's the most interesting fact about goats? Goats are birth. They always uh, give up two babies at a time. Oh, I didn't mm. know that. Since okay. 90% is always two. So we rarely get one goat or three goat. Because if you get one goat, the kid will be too big. You get three goats, the three, three guys will be too tiny. But when it's two, it's just nice. Okay, do you want to have a go at trying to milk the goat manually? Normally, in the farm here, we do it by machine. So for your case today, we will special exception. Okay. We'll let you do by hand. But first, I'll give you a very simple safety and hygiene brief before we proceed on. So now Leon is going to show me how to milk the goat. So he just gave me some guidelines and said that I'm a little bit too colourful for the goat. I'm very stressed out right now. So basically, these are our dairy goats. Yeah. We use them for their milk. So every morning, it comes out like this. How often do they get uh, milk? We milk them here once a day. Okay, so how we do it? Okay, very simple. Okay, fingers first and second close. Okay. Then squeeze one, two, three, and it'll come away. Like, okay, see? Can? Can. Oh my god, I'm gonna try it. Stop 
painful for the goat, right? No. Okay. And the other is very warm. I guess it feels like a, a hairy book <laughs> or something. So basically, uh, what we have here is uh, we call modern farming. Uh, basically, we do everything by machine here. <gasps> oh, the milk goes in there! There's a lot of milk in there. I really feel like putting this on my book to see how strong it is. Have you tried like on humans before? Is it like way too strong? Can you put it on my palm so I can see? Okay, no problem. So basically, it's like suction there, is it? It's not that strong. No, it's ah. like it's like a breast pump. Same concept. I see that you are married. Did your bride, did your wife like breastfeed also? Yeah. Then do you like how manually pop up her milk? <laughs> Sorry. It's a personal question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Leon has the milk here for me to try. Is it, is it the one that I squeezed just now? Uh, no. Okay. okay but uh, this is the one that we uh, milked yesterday. We have to pasteurize the milk first. So this is as fresh as you can get. So. I've heard people say that like goat's milk has a very like goatee taste and stuff. Is it true? Like I never tried goat's milk before, so I'm a little bit scared of trying it today. I hope I don't spit out your product. But <laughs> no, if I do, not. right, it's just because you know maybe some people have different palates. So. Um, I always tell customers uh, take it with an open mind. So we will try the original first. Mm. Okay, just take one big gulp. Okay, then it just smells like normal cow's milk. It's quite nice, what? It tastes just like normal cow's milk to me. <laughs> Like, it's, um, I would say, slightly lighter in a way. Correct. Yeah. Okay, it's definitely very creamy. It just has a little, little, little bit of the goat taste. La. It tastes pretty good. Chocolate? Okay, let's try the chocolate. Okay, chocolate, just give it a shake. Okay, good. It's not very sweet, ah. Mm, because there's it's, no sugar. Oh, it's just a chocolatey yeah, flavour to it. Yeah. So, do your own kids drink your goat's milk? Mm, yes, my own kids drink their mummy's breast milk and drink this. They don't drink cow's milk at all. Oh, really? Free one. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah, true leh. To spend a lot of money on new knife fun, okay? So, I cannot believe that for the first time in my life, I actually got to milk a goat. I don't think many people have tried that before. You know what? It's pretty fun. And I guess if there's ever a zombie apocalypse again and we all have to learn farm life, I know how to milk a goat. And I think that you know, this place is actually open to parents to bring their children here to visit the goats and everything. And it's definitely a pretty good idea to let bring your kids here. When you talk to your kids about farm life in books and stuff like that, they don't really get a real idea of what it's like until they see it for themselves. So this is pretty eye-opening. And I think it's so cool that you know Singapore still has farms around. Hey guys, we've come to the end of the episode. So don't forget to download the Click Network app. It is totally not meh at all. It's really, really great, in fact. So, goddammit, guys, just go download it, okay? And that's all from me. Bye.